Hi friends, I am Miss Cherry with Ventura County Library. Thank you for joining me today. Today's activity is a what's the matter jar. So the three um, states of matter that we are going to explore with this activity are gas, liquid, and solid. We learned a little bit about those in our story today. And what you are going to need for your what's the matter jar is a jar or a bottle that's clean, um, some warm water, that's our liquid, and then um, you can use either clear glue, clear dish soap or hand soap, or if you happen to have glycerin, you could use that too. And then you're going to want some solid objects to put inside of your jar. So you can look for just little things around your house that will fit in your jar. Um, I've got some little gems here that are small enough to fit into my jar and I've got some beads and I also have some glitter. Those are my solids for this project. If you want to, you could add some liquid food coloring or liquid watercolor or if you have a dried marker, you could stir that around in your uh, warm water and add some color to that. So first thing we're going to do is just take our jar and we are going to fill it with some water. So as I'm pouring, you'll see the liquid forms to the shape of the jar. And I'm gonna fill this up about two thirds of the way full. And I'm gonna set that aside. But what happens if I just pour liquid in my tray? It's a whole other it just conforms to the shape of the tray, right? So our liquid conforms to the shape of its container. But we talked about liquids, our liquid was our water, and our solids are our beads or whatever we have around our house that we're gonna put in our jar. But what is the gas? That was a hint. <laughs> the gas we were talking about is the air in that's around us. The air around us is made up of different gases and it's around us every day, even though we don't see it. So as I poured my water into my jar here, I pushed the gas out most of the way. There's still some left in there. That empty space is filled with air. We're gonna try to get as much air out of our jar. We want as little gas as possible. We want mostly liquids and solids in our jar. So our next step is going to be to take either our soap or glue or glycerin and add that for the next um, third of the container. So I'm going to go ahead and just use, um, I'm actually going to use this glycerin as my filler. And what I'm doing is actually I'm changing the viscosity of the water. So I'm making it thicker. And this changing the viscosity is just making the liquid thicker than it is right now. And that will help our solids move around more slowly. It's going to slow down the solid objects that we put in here. So at this point, I think well, it's still, there's still some air in there. I've still got a little bit of a gap. And I'm out of glycerin, so I'm going to add some glue. I'm going to fill it. Oh, no, wait. I'm going to leave room because we still need to add some things, right? We still need to add our solids, and that's going to take up volume, push up the liquid a little bit, right? So I am going to add, before I do that, I'm going to put my cap on and give it a good shake just to mix it up. Go. Just give that a good stir. And be sure you have a grown up help you with the warm water. You don't want it to be too hot. You don't want to get burned. And so now we can add, you can add whatever you have, little objects around your house. If you had glitter, you can add glitter. I'm definitely going to add some glitter to mine. Get a lot of glitter there. I'm going to add some green. Uh, liquid watercolor. What would happen if I tried to add a solid 
that was bigger than the opening of my container. It won't go in, right? Because solids, their shape doesn't change. It doesn't conform to the container. It's going to stay the same size, same shape. So I can't fit that bead in. It's just too big. So I'm going to put some other beads in that are small enough to fit in my container. Put those in. A little bit more beads. Ooh. And then I'm going to add some food coloring or paint as well. Can't get it open, so we're just going to skip the paint. And now we have our liquid in the jar and our water, our warm water, and our glycerin or glue or soap. And then we added our solids of glitter and beads and gems and now i'm going to put on i've got most of the air out but i bet i don't have all of the air out so there's still going to be a little bit of gas so we're going to have liquid solid and gas in this jar and i'm going to give it a good shake and these jars are really handy when our feelings are just feeling out of control we're just feeling out of control and you can just give this a shake and watch the glitter and gems and things swirl around and just say nice things to yourself so you feel better. You say, what's the matter? Go to your what's the matter jar when you feel like you don't know what's the matter. So that is it, my friends. I hope you have good luck with your um, what's the matter jars and we'll see you at the next story time. Mm -hmm.